Let's uh, take a look at a little bit about um, the my MATLAB. This is um, for our elementary statistics, but they're kind of all the same. Over here on the side is your, your different menu choices. And you don't have all the ones that I have here, but uh, you should have these top ones. Uh, course Home, course, course Takes You Here. Uh, here, first off, let's talk about the grade book. Uh, this is where you want to go to see your grades. So if you click grade book, it'll bring this up. And there's different options here. You can choose all assignments, um, which is your total uh, total grades. You can do homework, quizzes, um, final exam, so forth. Some of these, uh, we just have tests. We don't have quizzes. But. And um, you look past two weeks, uh, show overall score, past month, entire course to date, and so forth. This is the best place to go look for your grades. Um, I will post them every once in a while in Campus Connect, but that is not for you to really look at to get any kind of sense of what your grade is. Because this is your most uh, up-to-date grade. The minute that you do any problem in my math lab, it immediately updates your grades. And you will not have any better feedback on what your grade is than this grade book right here. Now the... Um, Study plan I do not use, so anything that uh, asks you about study plan, you don't need to worry about doing those problems or, or so forth. When I get ready to do homework, I'll click, come here and click the homework link. Now don't get really stressed out if you're looking at this like, well, man, he's assigned uh, 30 seconds or 30 sections uh, first day of class. I go ahead and make them all available, so if you want to work ahead, you can. You can see the due dates over here on the side. When they're, when they're due. And um, let me come down to a little bit more interesting one. Some of these are just uh, pretty simple ones. Let me go down to 3.1. Okay. And if I go into question one, after it loads. Now I have best uh, the best luck with Google Chrome on these. Um, so if you use an IE and you're struggling, you're having troubles, use Google Chrome. And uh, what does it mean if it's uh, resistant? Then uh, you can say uh, whatever. Say A, and say check answer. And it'll tell you uh, that's not correct. But uh, it gives you another, another chance at that. I think you got three tries. Um, let's see. D is the, actually the answer. But let me do B. Oh, final check. Okay, I'll do D. <laughs> okay, final check. And it'll come up and tell you you got it correct. Um, let me choose one that has a number. There, here's one. Find population mean or sample mean. So let me put in a uh, 55. Say check answer. And it says, okay, that's not correct. Try to give you a little bit of a hint. Uh, let me put in another number 44 check answer that's not correct and here's our three tries I guess it's not three tries on every problem just ones where you actually input answers I click final check and I'll say okay correct answer is 10 your answer is 33 and then you click uh, done okay so you go on the next problem they'd ask you something um, so forth if I come back to number, to number four and I click uh, similar exercise and I um, actually got a calculator here, so let me see what mean is. So I got 25 plus um, 15 plus 20 divided by how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It tells me 12. So I put 12 in and I say check answer. And it comes back and tells me excellent. Now notice, this is no longer marked as incorrect. So you can redo these. Even after you do your three tries, like if I do here, do three tries, um, check answer, nope, okay, check answer, nope. Um, notice what my numbers are, 8, 9, 15, 14, 9. And I do final check. It says that's not correct. Then, see what my numbers are, 8, 9, 15, 14. If I do similar exercise, it just cha randomly changes the numbers. And everybody gets uh, different problems in my math lab. Uh, so if you call your 
a friend up and say, hey, what's the answer to number three? Uh, it won't match yours. Uh, maybe on some of those multiple choice ones. But if you want to, you can go through and get 100% on these. Now, if I'm sitting here trying to solve this one, and I get the wrong answer, I can click this um, help me solve this option. It'll walk through. Maximize that. It'll walk through uh, how to solve the problem. So you say continue, and it says for this problem, are you finding mu or x bar? And um, since it says population, we'll see later on, of course, that's mu. So I have to click that. Even if I clicked to the wrong one, if I clicked uh, x bar, it said check answer, it'd tell me you answered x bar, correct answer is mu, and so forth. Now, to find a population mean, start by calculating the sum. Okay, that's um, 22, 32, 37, 43, 45. Let me just put in 44. So, it tells you to check your ca calculations. Eventually, it'll say, okay, it's 45. And now, determine the size of the population. Well, we got five numbers. So, put five in. Check answer. And it'll say, good job. And then... Uh, tells you the mean is the sum divided by the count so that'd be nine Let's say check answer and then close now notice it did not actually just give us credit for that what it did is it changed the numbers and it's giving you another try so when you say help me solve this it's not giving you free points it's just helping you solve that particular one now unfortunately the help me solve this is based upon doing it by hand and we're going to focus on using the calculator in this class. So that help me solve this may not be that beneficial to you uh, for, for this course. Now here's where you can click view an example. And again, this example is by hand, which may or may not be uh, beneficial. Some things we do by hand in this class, so that will be helpful. There's a video you can watch here. And if you click that video, I'm not sure if you can actually hear that or not, um, but um, they'll go through, oh, here's a calculator. Well, they're showing it by hand, though. Hmm. By the way, there's videos on some of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I say, it may not be that helpful because it's, um, it's showing it by hand. Here's a textbook. If you click the textbook, this will go exactly in the textbook where that particular topic is covered, so you can read more about it. Okay, and uh, this is the exact pages of the textbook, so you can sit there and read those. And um, probably these fit the page, fit the width, fit the page, fit the width. You can play with that to get it um, get it to look better. There, that's more readable. Okay, stat crunch. I probably wouldn't use that that much. Uh, tech tech help. If I click that, that'll come up with uh, your TI graphing uh, calculator tutorials. So if I click that, then it'll talk about the basics, and you'll see all the different um, videos I have for. Um, for how to do it on the calculator. And um, let's see if I click number six. Ah. There we go. You see there's an Ask My Instructor link. So you can, um, if you're struggling with one of them and you want to see me work it, then click Ask My Instructor and it'll send me an email and I'll, I'll work it in YouTube format and send it back to you. Now this print option isn't just uh, just about printing just that, but you can print the entire homework assignment. So if you want to print that and work it at your kitchen table, you can. Um, okay, so that's the uh, that's the homework, and the homework is set up to allow you to work on it past the due date. Do not let that cripple you. Um, the only way you can successfully finish 
the uh, course is in the summertime or maybe any semester is not to get behind. When you get behind, that's when it'll it'll kill you math-wise. When you get ready to take a test, here's quizzes and tests. It'll come up here, and here's the chapter chapter three uh, test review, chapter three test. The um, test reviews are not for a grade, so you do not have to worry about doing those if you don't want to. But if you do the test review, the test is very close to the test review. So it's a good idea to do the test review. Now I have the uh, chapter test set up with an uh, infinite number of attempts. So if you do poorly and want to retake it, then uh, you can. You can retake it a uh, hundred times if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend that, but you could. The um, this you cannot work on past the due date. So, the, for example, chapter three tests due on uh, June 28th. So, if you try to sit down on June 29th and do the chapter three test, it won't let you. If something comes up, some emergency comes up, and you do need a little bit more time, just uh, email me and I'll uh, open it back up. Um, that's the way the system is set up, such that you cannot work on tests past due date. But you can work on homework past due date. Now, do not wait until 6.28.15 and do Chapter 3 test at 10 o'clock at night. This might even be midnight uh, Eastern time. And every semester I have somebody that um, emails me and says, oh, I didn't realize it was Eastern time or, or Mountain time or something like that. Well, don't wait till the last minute. It's the worst thing you can do in the world. Because, you know, who knows what could happen at that point. computer could be down. Uh, my math life could be doing maintenance. Uh, something could happen. So plan early. Especially if you take the test and you do poorly, then you can retake it over and over. If you wait till the last minute, you don't have time to retake it over and over. So, um, now in the, um, in the video about the course, I'll, I'll show you where I've already worked some test reviews. So you can go out there and watch those test reviews. I've worked these particular test reviews in YouTube format. And I would recommend watching those because I'll show you how to do it on the calculator. Okay, study plan. I said ignore. Um, chapter contents. If you want to bring up the ebook, here's the ebook, the different chapters and so forth. So we'll go to chapter three, section three point one. We'll do that. Um, let's see what else there's. I would I wouldn't go to Pearson Tutor Services if you had to pay for it. Uh, discussions we won't be using there. Course tools is not, uh, that's more for the instructor. So is instructor resources. But that's an overview of uh, my math lab.